To weave in tails as you are knitting, first start by knitting the first stitch in your new color. For the second stitch, I like to have my tail off to the left of the work, so I'll wrap it sometimes around my pointer finger on my left hand, but insert your needle into the stitch, wrap the tail yarn over the back of the right hand knitting needle, then wrap the working yarn around the needle like a knit stitch, unwrap the tail, and then bring the stitch in the working yarn through the stitch on the left hand needle and discard the stitch on the left hand needle. Now I'm going to knit a stitch regularly. Then I'm going to work another wrapped stitch. So I go into the stitch, bring the tail over the back of the knitting needle. So I'm going in a clockwise motion. Here at the working yarn, I'm going to wrap counterclockwise for a regular knit stitch. Then I'm unwrapping my tail and I'm going to bring that new stitch through, the one in the working yarn, through to the front and discard the stitch on the left needle. And you're repeating that. Every other stitch you're going to work that fancy wrap to start weaving in the end as you knit. And you're going to do that for about three or four inches worth of stitches. That's what it looks like on the back. Here I'm on my third row now and I'm going to start weaving in the tail that I used to cast on, that I used to start this stripe. So I'm weaving in my second end on the third row, the same way as I did for the tail that was the contrasting color. And this is what the piece looks like on the wrong side with those two tails woven in. Since this is a wool, I'm going to trim right here. If it were a cotton, I would thread these tails on a needle and just double back a stitch or two to secure them. Happy knitting!